Daryl, it's a really tough test coming up on Sunday as we face Wrexham on the final day, isn't it? No, it'll be a tough game. Um, they've got a fantastic squad of players. They're a really good manager. Obviously, they've got the Hollywood owners as well. I think it's a, it's a football club that have had a massive upturn this year. I think they've been in this division maybe 17 or 18 years. I think this year you look at the, the quality they've, they've acquired over the season. They've got a top squad, Mullen and Palmer. Uh, maybe some midfielder, terrific Toga. The list goes on and on from the players they've got. And obviously, Phil's managers done a fantastic job. It's certainly going to be a difficult game, but it's still not impossible to reach the playoffs if we take care of ourselves and our result and things go our way elsewhere. No, definitely. I think for us, we're, like I said this before, it's the second highest point out in second highest league position currently that the club's been in it for the last 11 seasons. So we're in a, in a decent position. But we, we'd we like to be at least one higher. and um, We've had opportunities across the season to be a little bit higher, but for whatever reason, we haven't been able to take it. Now we know on, on, on Sunday, the last game of the season, that it comes down to that and we're, we're, we're facing a really, really tough opponent in Wrexham, as we know. But we know that um, on our day, we can beat anybody. I mean, we've got to stay focused on what we do and make sure we get our job done. You said they're a bit of a Hollywood team. The resources that Wrexham can call upon with their Welcome to Wrexham documentary, deals such as their TikTok sponsorship, it gives them a massive advantage. But would you stress that it is football and anything can still happen? Yeah, it's a massive advantage if you, if, as long as you spend it correctly. And I think they've, they've done that. You know, you look at the whole infrastructure of the football club. They, you know, they've obviously got the, the, the two guys who own the club uh, in, in the States. And you've got Les Reed, who was head of the FA running the football club. Phil, who's been a championship manager. And the filters all the way through into the playing staff they've acquired as well. They've, they've spent the money wide. They've got some top people in, in the important jobs at the football club. Um, and it looks like a very strong off the pitch as well as on the pitch. Um, but on Sunday, it's 11 v 11 with one ball. Um, football's always going to be there and always is there. And I think for us, we've got to make sure that we go about our job properly and that we're hitting the levels we can hit. And it's a game for us, certainly, we're looking forward to. And I, I don't want to use the word a free hit, but I think it's one of them that most people outside of our football club expect Wrexham to win. And it's important that we focus on ourselves and go and enjoy the game. And, and that, that's what football's about as well, from my point of view, is that. One game to go, I still haven't a chance. I want the players to come and express themselves and enjoy the game, enjoy the environment, enjoy the stadium, enjoy the noise the crowd will have as well. I put the performance on. Not to be too cliche, but it, it could be said that Wrexham are a bit of a Goliath in this league. Um, they've, they've faced plenty of Davids this season. Do you think it is a good thing then going into this one, maybe as the underdog? Yeah, I think with the underdog, probably like, like, like you said, like most teams against Wrexham, but I think this one's probably a little bit different in terms of it's the last one. Um, you know, so from Rexon's perspective and our own, you know, sometimes when you play a game of football, you've always got the next one. Well, there is no next one. It's, it's, it's this one now. And I think um, that probably puts more pressure on them in the sense of where they're at, depending on the, obviously, the result for Stockport, a home to talk here as well. But all we can do is focus on us. And we know that we face a big challenge against a, a huge football club with, as I said, a fantastic manager and, and some fantastic players. We know we've got a good group as well. And, and we've shown across the season we can compete with anybody. And it's important that we, we, we go in Sunday, you know, smiling and happy and looking forward to the game and looking to put the phones on. The away, the away crowd on Sunday will be as big as anything we've seen this season. What would you say to our home fans ahead of this one? No, it's a huge away following. I think if, if it's right, they're going to have the amount they're bringing has been our average crowd the whole season. So I think that just shows you again just the size of, of that football club. But I think our fans have been terrific this year, home and away. And they've been awesome getting behind the team and getting behind me and the staff. And, I think they've been a big help for us to get us in the league position that we are now. And now one game to go, we need them more than ever for this game. I think um, we know there's going to be a, a big Welsh contingent in our stadium. And I'm hoping that our crowd come out in force and get behind the team. And, and, and hopefully we can uh, put on a good performance with, with that in hand.